Hey, Blender Bob here. I wanted to share with you the pipeline I'm using for body and facial mocap for a project I'm working on right now. Uh, so for the body mocap, I use move.ai, which is an app that you can find on iPhone only. And it's very simple to use. You just uh, film yourself in a T-Pause and then you do whatever you want. It's going to export an FBX file. Uh, for the facial mocap, I use AccuFace in iClone. So it's not like going to be a full story all on how I, how I do the entire pipeline, but I still wanted to share it with you. And I did some changes also to my copy shape key add-on that I use, I need to use for this pipeline. So let's check it out. So I started with this character that comes from uh, Character Creator 4 that I imported into iClone. And from there, I used the Blender pipeline add-on and I exported it to Blender. I did some modifications and I brought it back using import. And what I ended up with was uh, this version here. And uh, the shaders are messed up, but I don't care because I only use this for the motion capture. Now, if I want to motion capture the body, what I do is I use move.ai on my iPhone. And all I need to do after this is to, well, first of all, select the character and then go into file, import, external motion. And I don't need to do anything. It already knows it's a move.ai project. I don't need to change anything. I will just go convert all. And now I got the animation that is done. For the facial capture, I use AccuFace. Uh, it's another plugin that you can get for iClone and uh, it's actually pretty easy to use and I'm gonna do it right now live. So I will go here in the plugin, I will go into live motion here and in this box, I wanna make sure that I use AccuFace. It's gonna be on this character here, AccuFace and I'm good to go. So all I need to do is to, I can preview first of all, so I will try to preview press space bar and you can see that now when I talk and blink my eyes it works so I will stop it and now I will record something anything stupid it's just a demo so here we go blah 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 I'm saying stupid things ah butterflies I want to catch butterflies okay I'm drunk whatever okay so I'm done with this now I can export this to blender so I get 459 frames and that's what I'm going to export. My character is already uh, selected. So I will just go export FBX. Blender, there's already a preset for that. Make sure you click here and you want to go open mouth as a morph uh, to get the proper transfer. I don't need to change anything else here. I will change it for, uh, I said uh, 450. And I don't need to embed the textures. I don't need the textures. I don't need any of this. I just want to export the animation. So I will go export and I will save my file. Now on the Blender side, it looks pretty messed up. That's on purpose so I can show you the new features. Well, the first one is uh, I added a set keys to zero. So you see, I got a lot of shape keys here that are not at zero. So for any selected object, it's gonna reset everything to zero. Now I'm gonna import the FBX I just did. So import FBX. And now I got my character coming from iClone and this one is animated with the shape keys. So what I'm gonna do is copy the shape keys first. So I select this one and I select this one and I will copy the animation. I don't need to copy the shape keys or the, ver the vertex groups. This is already properly set up. So I will just copy the animation and now we'll have the uh, animation for the face that has been added. So you can see the, the mouth doesn't open much. That's, that's because it's done with the bones. But there is a small problem with the thumbs. Uh, for some reason, they don't translate very well. And you can see that it goes inside the hand here. So there's another add-on for that that I made. And it's called the uh, Universal of Satano. And I can select the bone here. Actually, it works with bones. It works with objects. It works with anything that's animated. And what it does is just to offset the animation. So it's the same thing as if you go into the graph editor. I would select this and I would go move and Y and I've set it like this. So my add-on does the same thing without having to mess in here. So you can just go here and adjust whatever you need to adjust. So I need to find out which rotation needs to be fixed. And uh, I think it's a quaternion uh, problem. So I will fix it with this one here, the W. So now my thumb seems to be okay, except for this part here. And this one also, I can modify it. So now I've, I've fixed the animation here. Let's get my timeline back here, timeline. And uh, yeah, it's fixed. Uh, maybe not, maybe it still needs a little bit of tweak. Here we go. Yeah, so now it's fixed. The link is in the description. So now I'm gonna take this 
the base of the uh, armature here and this one here and i'm just going to copy the animation so if i do this now you can see that they both have the same animation so i can get rid of this one i don't need it anymore and that's how i can get my animation copied from iclone to blender as always all my add-ons are free this one is available on the extension platform so you can just go and get it okay bye